SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket just set a new reuse record. What SpaceX has achieved in the space industry is unlike any other space company out there. They are the first space company that has managed to build a fully reusable rocket, one that has just set a record for the number of reuses. All this is done with the help and leadership of a revolutionary like Elon Musk, whose endgame is launching people to Mars. But this most recent launch will be followed by two more launches in a row as SpaceX continues to change the whole industry and break some records. Hello everyone and welcome back to Liftoff. Today we will take a look at SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, which has just set a new reuse record. We are going to find out what SpaceX was launching this time. But before we go on any further, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for all things on Elon Musk, space, Tesla, technology, science, and more. And with that, let's find out the record that SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket just set. On June 17th, just a few days ago, SpaceX launched one of its Falcon 9 rockets. However, the most interesting thing about this launch is that it was the 13th time that the rocket has been used. This is definitely a new reuse record in the industry. The two-stage Falcon 9 lifted off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida at 12.09 p.m. EDT, which is about 16.09 GMT. Aboard the rocket were 53 of SpaceX's Starlink internet satellites that were being launched to orbit. This was in addition to the constellation of Starlink satellites that are already orbiting the Earth and providing internet connectivity. However, this launch was the first of three rocket launches that are set to occur in three days. The launches are all from different pads, and they are all going according to SpaceX's plans. About 15 and a half minutes after the launch, the 53 satellites were deployed into low Earth orbit. This was according to plan, with no delays whatsoever. Before the satellites were deployed, about eight and a half minutes after liftoff, the Falcon 9's first stage came down to Earth for a vertical landing on the SpaceX drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. The drone ship was stationed in the Atlantic Ocean just off the coast of Florida. The landing of the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket marked the 13th successful launch and landing, setting a new SpaceX reuse record. The booster has been used in quite a lot of missions, this includes lofting a GPS satellite, a Turkish communications satellite, a variety of spacecraft on the Transporter 2 rideshare mission, and nine Starlink launches. All this was according to a SpaceX mission description. SpaceX has been working to achieve such extensive reusability, and it has been a big priority for the company as well as its billionaire founder and CEO Elon Musk. Musk has said more than once that rapid and complete reuse is the key to the breakthrough that will allow humanity to settle on Mars and achieve a variety of other ambitious spaceflight feats. This was mostly referring to his main mission and goal for SpaceX, which is to colonize Mars. As we have seen, the Falcon 9 rocket launched recently was carrying some of SpaceX's Starlink satellites. Starlink is a constellation of internet satellites that SpaceX has launched to provide internet access worldwide. So far, the company has already launched as many as 2,700 Starlink crafts into orbit, and the number is still increasing. The most recent launch saw this number increase to 2,706 satellites. Soon, SpaceX has said that it aims to increase this number with the next generation version of the network. With this, the number of satellites could increase to about 30,000. The satellites that were launched recently are the next generation of Starlink satellites which now feature laser crosslinks that are said to improve connectivity. This latest generation of satellites is slightly bigger than the earlier versions that are already in orbit. In addition to that, they do not have sunshades, which are meant to reduce the reflected light. SpaceX had to do this to ensure that the reflected light does not interfere with any astronomical observations. Scientists working on the Starlink satellites also found that the sun visors interfere with the laser links between satellites. This makes the laser links less effective at making connections between satellites. But then again, SpaceX still had to deal with the issue of the sunlight being reflected. To deal with this, the new Starlinks were built so that they reflect slightly less sunlight than the old ones. They also have some design features that are meant to reduce the effect of growing constellation on optical telescopes and transmissions that can interfere with radio telescope observations. Right now, SpaceX plans to launch thousands of Starlink satellites over the next few years. OneWeb, which is a communications company that has the aim of providing internet services throughout satellites, has also managed to launch 428 broadband satellites so far. 
Amazon's Project Cooper, which is owned by Jeff Bezos, also has a plan to launch more than 2,300 satellites. Each of these three companies is actively working on measures that will lessen the impact on astronomical research. The journal Nature recently reported, but accumulating evidence reveals just how much these satellite mega constellations will interfere with the astronomical observatories and other sky watchers around the globe. And satellite companies have not yet found a solution. The launch of the Falcon 9 came shortly after there were reports that SpaceX had fired several of its employees. This was after it was said that they participated in writing an open letter that criticized the company's founder, Elon Musk, for the nature of his Twitter usage. It seemed to revolve around the fact that Elon Musk has been continuously working to buy the company along with his public behavior. This was reported by the New York Times. According to the Times, Gwynne Shotwell, the current SpaceX president, said in an email to the company's employees that the letter made employees feel uncomfortable, intimidated, and bullied, and or angry because the letter pressured them to sign onto something that did not reflect their views. In the email, she wrote, We have too much critical work to accomplish and no need for this kind of overreaching activism. Now that SpaceX is done with the launch of the Starlink satellites, the company can now turn its attention to Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Some of the engineers are working to prepare another Falcon 9 rocket for the launch that is set to happen on Saturday at 10.19 a.m. This mission is set to put Germany's SARA one-phased array radar reconnaissance satellite into orbit. After that, 14 hours later, SpaceX is planning to launch yet another Falcon 9 rocket into orbit. But this one will be launching a Global Star Data Relay satellite. This rocket will be launching from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station at around 12.30 a.m. on Sunday. Even though it was originally built as a spare, the FM-15 satellite will be joining a Global Star fleet that will work together to provide satellite telephone, messaging, and data relay services. This is an intense mission that SpaceX has planned, but it is already in motion. So far, this year alone, SpaceX has already launched about 24 missions with the Falcon 9 rocket. Of these missions, 15 of them were dedicated to taking Starlink satellites into orbit. Other missions include taking some astronauts to the International Space Station and even launching other satellites into orbit. SpaceX has already made a reputation for itself. It is now the number one private space company in the world, having secured some big contracts with NASA. In addition to that, the company has also managed to build a fully reusable rocket, which has never been done by any other space company. Apart from the rockets being fully reusable, SpaceX has managed to make them pretty cheap compared to other rockets and space companies. Their main plan is to cut the cost down to about $2 million per launch, which, if you do the calculations, is the cost of the fuel that is required by the rocket. Right now, its most successful rockets are the Falcon 9 and the Falcon Heavy rockets, which have been launching for years now. And now, there is another rocket in the lineup which has yet to be launched officially, and that is the Starship rocket. The Starship rocket is said to be the most powerful rocket in the entire space industry. It is also the rocket that is set to take people to Mars and back, which is according to Musk's plan. Elon Musk is a revolutionary man, and he has already proven that by completely changing the space industry. And now, we are about to see SpaceX rise even higher than it is right now. What do you think of the new record that SpaceX has set? Feel free to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for all things Elon Musk, space, Tesla, technology, science, and more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.